hi guys welcome back to today's video so in today's video i just wanted to give you a short and simple guide to taking care of your 4c hair i think this video is still essential today even though the natural hair community has been on youtube for the past 10 or 20 years it's still essential because there's many that still don't know how to take care of their natural 4c hair or there's many who still struggle to embrace their natural 4c hair so i'm going to share some tips that i've learned throughout my personal journey and also from going to hairdressing college so firstly you want to begin with a pre-shampoo treatment aka a pre-poo and this can be done with a range of oils and conditioners or just the oil on its own pre poos is used to protect the hair prior to you going in with a shampoo usually shampoos take away a lot of the oils and because 4c hair is so delicate so fragile it's best to go in with some oils first to help to just detangle the hair add some protection and so that when you go in shampoo all the oils is not totally stripped away this then makes it safe to use the shampoo so shampoos are not the enemy a lot of people were painting it out to be an enemy in the early days of the natural hair movement here on YouTube but it is not the enemy a good shampoo is needed at least once or twice a month if you're not going to use it on a weekly basis so always choose the right shampoo for your hair and what gets the hair clean is the shampoo but also the massage techniques that you use on your scalp so be careful to be gentle and just go in small circle motions next it's conditioners and conditioners are really good for detangling the hair and making it soft it helps to close the cuticle and make the hair smooth it helps to make the hair appear glossy it controls static electricity it makes the hair easy to comb and it helps with the moisture of the hair that's why it is so important to always condition after you shampoo now the length of the conditioning time depends on whether you're going to deep condition next or not but always follow the manufacturer's instructions so I typically deep condition for 20 minutes this is what I learned in hairdressing college and it's best to use a deep conditioner with heat deep conditioners are made to help with broken or damaged hair but it's also made to help just keep the hair in a nice condition to prevent it from breakage or damage there's different type of conditioners out there so there's penetrating conditioners there's reconstructing conditioners and there's also protein deep conditioners so all of this should be used wisely at the right time depending on what your hair needs after shampooing and conditioning it's best to go in with a leave-in conditioner for 4c hair a lot of people like their conditioners to be thick and creamy but you can use spray conditioners as well if your hair is on the finer side and this just helps to add a little bit more moisture since a lot of 4c hair girls complain about dry hair so this is the first step and if you're not going to use a leave-in conditioner plain old water could be also the l in the lco method or the loc method now time for moisturizer it's always good to moisturize your hair as well and this is just gonna give you that added bit of moisture shine and nutrients to the hair it's gonna make the hair soft and pliable and easy to style and manage it's gonna help you to form your twists your braids your roller sets whatever style you choose to do at the end of your wash day this is a vital step to take to moisturize the hair prior to styling your hair and then to go ahead and seal that moisture in with some healthy natural oils it's always good to keep it simple when it comes to oils I remember reading in the science of black hair that it's best to stick to three carrier oils and two essential oils 
so you can do your own home DIY oil mixture butters can be formed on their own sometimes such as cocoa butter but butters can also be formed simply by solidifying oils so butters and oils are very similar and all you have to do is emulsify the butter in your hands and it will turn into an oil these help to seal in the moisture add nutrients add shine it's great it's a great way to detangle the hair prior to shampooing as I've said it's a great way to just go in and retouch the hair and scalp during the week and this stops your hair from looking and feeling dry so here are some examples of the things I like to use on my hair to keep it soft and pliable and manageable and to style it whether I'm wearing my natural hair out or whether I'm wearing a protective hairstyle such as braids or a wig and these are some sectioning combs and clips it's best to use a large detangling comb when you are pre-pooing, shampooing and deep conditioning and it's always good to cover your hair with a bonnet at night And this is an example of what healthy 4C hair looks like. It doesn't always have to be long, it doesn't always have to be thick. As long as the hair has got good elasticity, it's growing, it's strong, it's got a high sheen level, then you know that your hair is healthy. Not everybody is going to have the same journey. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!